yeah, so Blake Corum is our next guy. And um, 5'8", 210. And I like this guy a lot. I like I Blake Corum a lot as well. Actually. Uh, the issue is a lot of people are saying size. And I know Brian doesn't like that. Um, uh, it's less about that. It's that I think being short for Blake Corum is fine. My problem is you don't – he's not like a power runner. To be 5'8", and be as 213, 14 pounds, you think he should be a power runner. He's not really a power runner. He's more of he gets in where he fits in. Like he he's you know a little bit shifty. He has a really excellent you know, shuttle type of thing. Like he's quick more than he is powerful. He, mm-hmm. he he doesn't break a lot of tackles. You try to tackle him, you tackle him. You know, but it, can he score? He has a great nose for the end uh, to end zone. Oh, absolutely. Unbelievable. I like I, you- I, I I don't know. I kind of like him. He's for me obviously the height scares a lot of people. Um mm. but he, but he's he's just there's something different about him. Shit like he is. like shit. we were, we were joking about how how low to the ground he is and whatever but and and how small he is and it it's hard to tackle someone like and I and I made the joke. It's like it's like trying to tackle, you know, a gator, like uh, the the John Deere gators. Like they're so small to the ground, they're like the your dad's lawnmower, but the drivable ones. Like you're gonna go up to them, they're just gonna hit you, but you, they're you're mm-hmm. both going down immediately. That's like that's how small he is, but you're not gonna really move him that far because he's 210 pounds. So, but he's crazy. not powerful. He's like, that's that's the thing. He's just not powerful. He's- to me. Four um, inches shorter than Jonathan Brooks, but weighs seven more pounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, he's he's thick. He runs. He has. He's he's very very strong. Uh, I don't know if you I saw his bench press. You know, he he has two twenty five. I think he was thirty times. Mm-hmm. Like the dude is strong. I don't know if you know Lyman. That's don't what do I meant. Like he's 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 like he's he's. I'm not saying he's a bulldog. He's a, he's a small. You know, we got to remind you that Maurice Jones Drew. Say what? No, but, but he was a bowling ball. I don't think he, he was he, a bowling ball until till he got to the NFL, though. He reminds me of Kenneth Walker. Blake Corum reminds me of Kenneth oh, Walker. I can see a little Kenneth Walker. Yeah, I can see Kenneth Walker, too. I guess. Um, but I think I think you could go to the right running football team and they could teach him to be a bruiser, though. I think so, too. Um, That's not he's got bad. the stature, I feel like. He's, he, he's strong, but he doesn't he, he avoids contact a lot. He's strong though, but he he's quick. But he's he fast. has to because of his size, though. He has to because of his size. And look, one thing about Blake Horn, he comes in the NFL, he can make a, an impact potentially immediately, or they might have to wait. Like, I want to look, Dev, Devin Achan. Did we think he mm. was gonna do like as good as he did? We didn't think that. No. We thought he's he's gonna struggle a little bit, but he did really good. Kyron Williams, also small, did really really good. He was actually one of the top backs coming out last year, and I even said because like, well, the Rams had no other choice, but he was talented enough. And then the other one who I asked one is who was also small, it's Keontae Mitchell. Before he got hurt on the Ravens, he was really good. These smaller running backs may or may not be like di- a difference makers that these linemen aren't used to. And it doesn't bother me that he's small. What bothers mm-hmm. me is he's hurt every year. Who are you every year about? he's hurt. Corum? Blake Corum. Blake Corum every year has been hurt. Mm-hmm. He gets hurt and you know he misses games every mm-hmm. single year. You know, he's I don't know, I don't say injury prone. That's not the right word for him saying. He's just he's not mm-hmm. built to just run through through all these these tackles. That's that's right. probably his biggest weakness. He just always gets injured. No, and and but even though he's not going to be a three down back, so that's the truth. His longevity might be okay. Well, I don't think three down backs exist anymore. Say what? I don't think three down backs exist anymore. I think B. John no, could be a three guy down definitely back. Is not like if you're if you're looking for one, this guy definitely is not going to be that guy. Um, yeah. But uh, all I'm saying is is right now. Yeah. This draft okay. Yeah. Class, He's, he okay, is endurable. That's what, exactly what Brady says. I think Brian's trying to say he is endurable. That's exactly what I'm yeah. trying to say. He's just not a, a very durable runner of, as a running back. Right. 
Oops. Yeah. Not what I wanted to click on, damn it. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, I know, I know. Uh, but just he's he's very shifty. Very, he's got some good speed to him. He's like a bullet out of the line. But again, mm-hmm. he kind of has to have good vision. Like if he misses, like if he if he misses up, and he slight like just doesn't see a linebacker out that was outside of his sights. He's gonna get smashed to the ground. Um, and then there'd be some plays where like, damn, dude, this guy's a bowling ball. You can't, you can't ever tackle this guy. Like he's kind of like that. It's, it's, it's hard to say with him. Um, but he, he shows a lot of good footwork. He shows that he has the talent to, to be a good, like pass catcher, maybe if, if they use him that way. But the problem is the film we're seeing is not a lot like his size. I wouldn't surprise me if they use him for that. But again, both these running backs, they have talent. They're both going into the draft. I just, it's going to be very interesting. And I hope you have a running back going into next season in your dynasty league because it's going to be very interesting to see both of these guys. Obviously, it's probably the one or two. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. He's my favorite this, one. Though. This is the one and two, and they're both second, third rounders. <laughs> Just... Right and well, okay. It's like what I mentioned. Like if you if you came in late and we already watched both the running backs. Like I, at the beginning of both these running backs, I said this running back class is not as good as what people are hoping. Like if you're looking for a running back to be your savior on your run game in your dynasty leagues, this is not the year. It is not <laughs> the year. I'm telling you, don't. I, uh, so I hope you have something in the chamber. Something. <laughs> Cause you're gonna be struggling. I don't see a lot of difference between Blake Blake Corum, uh, Marshawn Lloyd, Will Shipley. Like they're all the same. They're guy. all bunched like, up. They're all the yeah. same. Guy. They're all. They H- Henderson was probably the only one that everybody kind of was gonna go after, and he's probably the only one that was even decent enough to elevate this draft class for the running backs. But even him alone, it was it was a big drop down. It's like Bowers mm-hmm. and the other t- tight ends. That was yep. how it was with Henderson and these running backs. Now they're so bunched up, but there's like low level end of the second round, early third NFL draft. But the problem is these guys are probably going to go first round in your draft in your dynasty drafts. And, and you need to find the right one because you gonna find be an a, issue. A, a guy who goes to a team that has great uh, run blocking linemen. Mm-hmm. He might pop off. You don't know. Yeah. If Blake yeah. Gore, um, Corum goes to a team that like the, the Browns, the Browns are looking for you know, a guy, to, you know, another guy. Mm-hmm. He could pop off. Yeah. Uh, the issue is they, they, they're claiming this guy to be like a workhorse. Um, I don't see it because he really reminds me of Sean Tucker. And we saw how Sean, Sean Tucker's Tucker, a very good. Sean Tucker's yeah, but a very Sean good Tucker player. didn't really succeed. Yeah, no, that's Not. exactly my point. So that's and that that's that's not it's 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 gonna be a struggle. So yeah. uh we'll see how it goes. But good luck in your in your dynasty drafts if you're looking for a guy. Cause it's not the year. Getting hype when I aim up elevating that game up stepping up to the competition only first place in this high living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave, eating all the things that